So here we're going to go through the different components that you'd need for your home. So we can skip through a few of these now because we're not looking maybe to control some radiators just yet. We might just be looking to control underfloor heating. So number one, the Genius Hub. You'll need that. That connects to your internet router. We've shown number one here in the living room and that connects to your internet router, which means that you can then control everything from an app on a smartphone. Number two there, you'll need that to control your boiler. Even if you've just got underfloor heating, that means that you can turn your boiler on when the underfloor heating turns on. Number four there is your room sensor. So we've shown that in the room upstairs uh, um, in one of the bedrooms, uh, but essentially that's measuring the temperature. So for example, for you, you can also see that we've pictured that in the living room and also downstairs in the kitchen, showing that number four there, that room sensor is what's measuring the temperature in those rooms. Of course, as you'll have already learned, you could also use a room thermostat to measure the temperature in the rooms. And I've gone through the details of the differences between the two. Then you've just got number six there, which is the electric switch. The electric switch would be uh, wired onto your manifold uh, next to your wiring center, and that would then be controlling the underfloor heating for you. So we've shown uh, six there on those two ground floor rooms in the kitchen and the living room, and essentially the, that number six uh, would be wired next to your manifold. So if you've got the manifold there controlling those two rooms together, then essentially those two electric switches would be side by side controlling the same manifold. So let's get started designing a system for our home. If you go to our website, geniushub.co.uk, click on your home at the top and then choose create your system. This is a handy little tool that we've developed specifically to be able to control, um, to help you design the control for your home. This is really useful for installers to use as well as homeowners. So on the left hand here side, I can expand and I can see what it's put into my shopping cart. You can see I've got a boiler, I've got hot water, and I've also got hot water temperature. So if I restart this by clicking under boiler no, and then choose yes. Okay, so now I'm just controlling my boiler, which is all I want to do here. Let's imagine that I don't have a stored hot water tank. If I do, I just simply click on yes. Let's imagine here I'm just controlling a combination boiler for my underfloor heating. Click on next, and I can start adding some rooms. Expand this list again so I can see it and I can see that I've got a genius hub and I've got a single channel receiver there to control my boiler. Let's start adding some rooms here. On the right hand side there's a green circle with a white cross on it. Click on that and I can see the three different types of rooms that I can add. A radiator room, we've covered that in a different video. Wet underfloor uh, heating and then we've got electric heating. So let's focus on the wet underfloor for now. So I'm going to click on the wet underfloor heating. Okay, here we can see that we have partnered with JK Floor Heating. They do a great way of uh, being able to cut channels into an existing floor, uh, which makes for a really good form of underfloor heating without you having to adjust the floor level. So if you had to dig down before and maybe put insulation in and then put screed on top, that's not necessarily with a JK Floor Heating system. So we've partnered with them because we do a lot of their control. So if you are a JK customer, click yes. If you're not and you've got another or you've got an existing underfloor heating system, choose no. So here I'm going to choose no. Okay, now choose done and you can see I've got my first room of underfloor heating. Let's call this living room. Okay, so I've got my living room there and I can see that it's put a genius room sensor in and an electric switch. That's all I need to be able to control a single zone of underfloor heating. Now, if I want to swap and I don't want the room sensor, I want a thermostat, I can click on the pencil symbol here, and then you can see I can then swap from a single, uh, a genius room sensor to a genius room thermostat by simply swapping like that. But in the living room, I'm gonna have a room sensor for sake of argument. The control device is down here, a single channel receiver or an electric switch actually just comes down to your existing wiring center. So if you already have a wiring center, then you might want to swap it to a single channel receiver if it's a 24 volt wiring center. If you've got a 230 volt wiring center or you're getting a wiring center from us, just leave it as an electric switch. Okay, now choose confirm. Now I'm going to add another room of underfloor heating. So I click on that and then choose wet underfloor and then choose done. 
Now this time I'm going to call it my kitchen. Now in my kitchen I'd like to have a thermostat so I can control the temperature more easily without having to use the app. So if I click on the pencil symbol there and then I change it from a genius room sensor to a genius room thermostat. Choose that and then choose confirm. Let's add another room. Click on the plus, choose wet on the floor. Okay, Genius Hub now is warning me that I've obviously got a slightly larger home than some people, so it's going to ask if I want some smart plugs. Now, the Genius Hub uses a self-healing mesh network. That makes it really robust. So what happens here is if you add smart plugs, it boosts the signal to different parts of the house. So if you've got a lot of underfloor heating on your ground floor or even in your floors upstairs, you will need the smart plugs to boost the signal to get to the wireless room thermostats or the wireless room sensors which are in the rooms. So I'm going to choose yes, so Genius Hub can decide how many, room, uh, how many smart plugs I need for my home. Click on done, add the last room downstairs. Okay, so I've got my last room downstairs now. Upstairs, if I wanted to add more rooms, I could add radiator rooms or add more underfloor heating rooms. That's really easy. Okay, so if we look at the design here, we can see we've got a genius hub that gives you control from the app. We've got two room sensors because two of my rooms have room sensors. We've got one genius room thermostat because I chose that for my kitchen. I've got one smart plug to boost the signal. I've got a single channel receiver to control the boiler, I've got three electric switches that controls my underfloor heating. So if I need a wiring center from Genius Hub, that's the underfloor heating wiring center, I can click on the plus symbol here. I can choose others and I can choose underfloor heating wiring center down here at the bottom. That allows Genius Hub to then provide us with a 230 volt, Genius, uh, 230 volt wiring center choose confirm and then done. So that's all the control there for my underfloor heating. Now it would seem a shame not to maybe control the rest of my house also with the Genius Hub. So I actually only need to add one more component to this order and this design and then I have full control over absolutely everything in my home. So if I've got radiators in my home as well, maybe upstairs or, or other, other parts of the house, uh, then essentially I can just click on the green plus again. I choose others and I choose a genius room thermostat there. Add that and then choose confirm. Okay, now what that does is it adds a thermostat which I can put maybe into the hallway, a wireless thermostat I can put into the hallway or, or I can put it upstairs wherever my rooms are. Just need to help Genius, understand, Genius Hub understand maybe what I'm going to use that for. So useful just to put a note in there, for example, room thermostat to control the rest of my house. Now Genius Hub, when they build this system, will know exactly what to do. So that's one of the unique things about Genius Hub, actually, is that we actually build this entire system in our warehouse. We fully test it and then we ship it to you. Now what this means is that you get a system that will work straight out of the box. You don't have to sit there trying to link everything together yourself. Essentially, the app, the first time you load it, will have everything for you. That's why we set up the names there and we ask you to give you, us the names of the rooms so we can set everything up. Saves a lot of time and money on site with installers because they're not having to program everything. They just know that when they take it out of the box, they screw it to the wall, then it's all going to work straight away. So if I'm happy with my design there, I can then choose save at the bottom. I can then put my name, my email address and my phone number in there and then send it to myself. One of the great things about sending myself a quotation at this stage is that logs the quotation uh, on the Genius Hub server. That means that should you have any questions about it, you can then easily get in touch with us and uh, we can have a look at the same quotation on our screen and then we can guide you through any questions that you've got and give you answers to anything you need to know. Okay, if I'm happy with my design here, I'm just going to click on the shopping cart. That will then put it into my shopping cart. Again, I have an opportunity here to email myself a quote, so I can just double check with Genius Hub. Feel free to pick up the phone and talk to us about your design if you want us to help you. Otherwise, if you're ready to go, then just choose proceed to check out there.